Hi, everybody. My name's Robert, and I'm the co-founder uh, and CEO at Cloud Sigma. Uh, in this video, I'd like to show you how you can quickly and easily set up a new server using our quick server creation tool. So you'll see that on the screen, um, I'm already logged into my account, and I've gone to the compute uh, section of the web app. And you'll notice that on the top left is a button called Wizard. This is what we call our quick server creation tool. So if I click on that, you'll see I'm then presented with a list of predefined server images. These are based on some of the most common configurations we have from customers. It's important to note that you can go and create a custom server image. We actually have completely unbundled resources at Cloud Sigma. Um, so this is really just used for quickly getting a server up and running, or if one of these sizes happens to be along the lines of what you're looking for. So I'm gonna just go for a small three server size. Next, again, we've chosen a predefined list of some of the most popular operating systems and versions that we have available in our cloud. However, if you click on other, you'll see there's actually a very long list of available pre-installed systems for you to deploy as a new server image. So I'm going to go ahead and look at, say, um, the Debian 8.2 server. I'm going to select that one. It's one of the most popular ones that we have. And that's really it. We will then create a server which is optimized for that operating system and deploy it into your account. And as a final step, you'll see we'll open the VNC tunnel so you can go in and start configuring that server immediately. So what's happening right now is it's cloning the server um, into your account. First, it has to make a private copy of the drive, creates the server configuration, then it starts the server. What you'll see is that it takes no more than 10, 15 seconds to do the whole process and start the server. And on average, within 20 to 30 seconds from creating a server, you'll be able to have that server up and running and available to use within your account. So that server is almost ready now. It's going to start the server and open the VNC tunnel. And as a final step, I'll show you over VNC that the server is actually live and available for you to uh, start interacting with. So this quick server creation process, as you saw, is a very quick two-step process, which allows you to, within seconds, really get a new server up and running. So here we can see the initial login details for that server. We can see the IP address, and there's some install notes as well. So I'm going to go ahead, open the VNC, and you can see here that it's a live server, and I could go ahead and, and log in. So I hope that explanation was useful to you. If I go back here, you'll see that the new server's here at the bottom in my account. It's this one here. And good luck with your computing.